This disease has been plaguing Baltimore for 35 years, at least 37 is what I know of. Violence plaguing Baltimore City streets as Charm City surpasses 200 murders this year. Baltimore leaders are out in the community to push for peace. Hello again, I'm Max McGee. It's called Ceasefire Weekend and it asks people to put the guns down and go a full weekend without violence. Stetson Miller is live for us tonight at police headquarters, but Stetson, we've learned someone was shot latest this afternoon. Hey Max, yeah, that's right. Another shooting this afternoon. A 30 year old man shot in Westport, now in critical condition. That's why advocates and city leaders say these ceasefire weekends are so important to try to combat that violence and hopefully bring more people together. As gun violence continues to plague Baltimore City, community members and city officials are challenging Baltimoreans to put the guns down. It's about making sure that we, yes, hold people accountable, deal with the flow of guns that are coming, uh, targeting those individuals, making sure that they are dealt with in the criminal justice system. Mayor Brandon Scott and Police Commissioner Michael Harrison, along with members of the group Baltimore Ceasefire 365, are taking to the streets this weekend to discourage gun violence throughout the city and are pleading for peace. It is never necessary to put that kind of footprint on your own journey where you took somebody else's life. City officials say over 200 people have been killed so far in 2021, and there have now been over 400 non fatal shootings, up from the same time last year. And while the focus is on trying to stop the shootings, some are also walking to honor those who've been killed because of them. We feel it's very important to come and pray or, uh, for the souls who've lost their lives to gun violence. The goal is to bring the community together, and with time and other steps in the city crime plan, they're hoping that this will turn the tide so fewer people lose their lives. Every day we're going to work hard to make sure that we're curing Baltimore the disease. And Ceasefire Weekend is not over yet. You can go to BaltimoreCeasefire.com to find out all the events happening tomorrow. At City Police Headquarters, Stetson Miller for WJZ.